It was a tense day today on Nassau Street as two Lutheran men accused of committing a heinous shooting which struck the heart of the nation appeared before the court. Our Antoine Smith was there. The shrill screams of an anguished mother pierced the air at the Nassau Street Court complex today as two Lutheran men accused of attempting to murder her toddler made an appearance in court. 34-year-old Marcus Saunders in white and 26-year-old Antonio Neely in blue were stoic as they marched into court facing charges connected to the shooting of two-year-old Denyla Roberts. Their silence evoking emotion from family members who watch on the sidelines and the grandmother who reportedly held her granddaughter as she was shot. Inside, the two men were charged for their alleged crimes, facing one count of attempted murder and four counts of possession of a firearm with intent to endanger life. The men stand accused of the June 27th Hatchet Bay incident, where two men reportedly fired at a crowd and struck a two-year-old in the process. Card dockets allege that in addition to gravely injuring Roberts, the men also intended to harm one Maxine McQueen Gibson, Terrence Taylor, Spencer Gibson, and Navarro. Broker. The defendants, who were represented by attorney Ian Cargo, were not required to enter a plea, but did opt to have their matters heard by a jury in the Supreme Court. And upon learning they would be placed on remand at the Bahamas Department of Corrections, the duo pleaded with Magistrate Samuel McKinney to be kept together, citing that they were from an island and didn't know anyone in New Providence. While Magistrate McKinney noted that there were not any special sections in prison for islanders, but told them to refer to their counsel. The duo are due back in court on September 4th, where a voluntary bill of indictment will be served. Anthony Smith, ZNS Network News.